Today I'm going to cover Ryan Watson who went with his wife for his 40th birthday on vacation to Turks and Caicos. On his way back on TSA or I assume it's called TSA in Turks and Caicos or immigration, they held him because he had four bullets on his carry-on luggage. I'm going to cover the whole story afterwards, but a little bit about me. I've been traveling for two years, two years from Mexico, Colombia, Thailand. I'm in the Philippines right now, Japan, Taiwan, and so on. In some of these countries, it's illegal to have ammunition or guns on your possession. Before I cover the Turks and Caicos story, I want to cover a story similar to that, but happened in Mexico. There was a Marine named Andrew Tamarasi. I assumed that he was stationed in Camp Pendleton. I am prior Navy. I was stationed in Camp Pendleton. I was stationed in Naval Base San Diego. It could have happened in one of, one of both, but most Marines are in Camp Pendleton. He took the gun illegally to Tijuana. He was in prison. During his imprisonment, he tried to escape. When they tried, when he tried to escape, they moved him to Tecate. Once he got to Tecate, Mexico got pressure from the United States since he was a Marine in MH News and he was extradited back to the United States. What people don't cover is that once he got extradited, I'm not sure if he was already out of the military or not, but he was in Indiana and he went to jail for drug possession. Now for Ryan Watson, I believe that this is one of the circumstances that might help him get released. It's because it's in the headlines. It's pressure. Pressure to Turks and Caicos from the United States and also the politicians in the United States getting pressured by the news. At the same time, there's another American being withheld in Turks and Caicos named Brian Hagerich. He spent seven or eight days in jail, but I believe he's already in Turks and Caicos for 70 days being withheld in the country. I know that Ryan Watson is the headline, but there's also somebody else from the United States there. In addition, the embassy put out a statement, and I'm going to read the statement. We wish to remind all travelers that declaring a weapon in your luggage with an airline carrier does not grant permission to bring the weapon to into TCI, meaning Turks and Caicos Island, and will result in your arrest. But almost nobody reads the embassy's threat on a country. For me, I only read it once out of, I'll say, 15 countries that I've been traveling to. Because if I feel safe and other people have been going there, I don't read it. At the same time, if that country has a threat or I feel it's kind of dangerous, I do read it. But like I said, I only read it once. As for people that don't know where Turks and Caicos is, it's above Haiti and Dominican Republic in between there and Florida or east of Florida. And the prison time that he's, that they're trying to put on him is 12 years. I know a lot of people are saying it's a lot of time, but Laws are lost and certain countries have certain laws to prevent certain things that could happen in that country. You're taking something illegally to that country. For me, like a lot of people or him are saying that they didn't check their luggage. I check my luggage every time. I check my carry-on luggage every time. And like I mentioned, I've been traveling for two years. And why do I check my luggage? It's because... If I'm carrying my luggage and it's carrying weight, I take it out every time. Every country that I go, every place that I go, I take it out. Why? Because I want to be able to use that thing or else it's useless and I'm just carrying an extra piece that doesn't belong there. For him, he was heading back to the United States, meaning that he didn't take out everything according to his story because he said that he didn't see it or he didn't or he already had it there in the United States because he went hunting with it, meaning that he didn't check his whole bag when, or he didn't empty out his bag when he was in Turks and Caicos. For me, like I said, I empty my bag everywhere I go. 
At the same time, I check what it's needed to another country and is it worth going to another country. But that's irrelevant right here. The whole point is I check my back. At the same time, I don't do drugs. I don't carry ammunition. I don't carry gun. So for me, I feel safe carrying my luggage. At the same time, if I buy a certain medication somewhere and I'm going to another country that might not allow that certain medication, I have to make sure if it's allowed or not. But like I said, I never check. I just rather throw it away and move on and buy, rebuy something similar in that country. If it's something that is not over the counter and I believe that it's supposed to be illegal. Ryan Watson's passport got confiscated. For people that don't know or never traveled outside the country, once your passport is not in your possession, it's hard to leave the country. Unless you go to the embassy and ask for a passport and they could do a passport there or ask the embassy for help and stay in the embassy. But I'm not sure the scenario that he's in right now. But those are the two types of scenarios that could help you if you lose your passport. I'm not talking about him right now, but for other individuals, just in case you go to other countries. At the same time for him, there's another individual named Brian that's been in that country with the same scenario that, like I said, he's been there for 70 days. Now, this is going to rub people the wrong way, but if you were rooting for Brittany Grainier to stay in a Russian prison and not be traded for this individual named Victor Bout, and she was detained for 10 months, keep the same energy. Don't feel a victim because you have a gun, you have something in your position in the United States, and you're not allowed in a different country. Illegal is illegal, regardless of what country you're in. I saw a TikToker say, well, it's legal in, in the United States, and it's illegal in Turks. Compared to Britney, it's illegal in both countries. It doesn't matter. If it's illegal, it's illegal. In Afghanistan, it's legal to have opium. Does that mean if I take opium to the United States, I'm not going to get punished? Absolutely not. I'm going to get punished. And that's the whole point. You have to read and you got to understand the laws of a country. But I'm not rooting with or against them. Is that I know there's laws. And I'm always very precautious on following the law of another country. First, because I'm not trying to be blacklisted. Second, I don't want to be get kicked out. And third, I don't want to be withheld in that country for whatever reason, especially on a jail prison. I don't want to do that, especially in a prison or in a country that the prison is very bad. And I heard, by the way, I heard that in Turks of Caicos, I believe it was Brian, the other person, he was in jail. He said the water was dirty and I forgot what else. But like I said, I don't have no, I'm not rooting with him or against him. I just know that there's laws in the country and that's all I got. Thank you and thank you for watching.